Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my very second movie review, so please be patient with me. Last time I reviewed Deadpool, I was a little bit rusty, but I think I'm starting to get a hang of it. So I went to my local AMC theater to check out Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. I've been a big fan of Batman, Superman, do you see some of the comics right there? And DC Comics. And I'm very happy they finally decided to make this movie, but it seems like to me they cramped. They wanted to cram too much into two and a half hours into one movie. So the basic synopsis of the movie is that Superman has been going wild, you know, battling villains with a lot of destruction and casualty. The public wants to keep his power in check because he seems like to be a god without any um, control, you know. So that's when Batman comes into play. And also um, Batman played by Ben Affleck, of course, and he does a pretty nice job with it. I know there are a lot of doubters and haters out there, but trust me, he did. Actually, I think he did the best acting in this movie. So then you have uh, Henry Cavill, who is Superman. He does an okay job. So basically, Lex Luthor lures Batman into battling Superman with somebody which have a name being taken to hostage. And then with the help of uh, Wonder Woman, who is played by Gal Gadot. Whoa, she is hot, no doubt about that. So Lex Luthor creates the Doomsday villain, which fights all three characters, and it is top-notch special effects, a lot of explosion, back and forth, all kinds of um, punching and kicking, a lot of destruction, and you guys would definitely like that. And I think Zack Snyder, who is a director from the same as uh, Watchmen, Man of Steel, Sucker Punch at 300, he did a pretty nice job of it, except, like I mentioned, they tried to cram too much into one movie. And with a little bit of introduction with additional characters, which you guys will see. So very excited about that. Yeah, everybody seems to do in just like a pretty good job. Nothing spectacular. I think the, the best actress in the part was um, Amy Adams. She stole the show right there. And like I mentioned, Jesse Eisenberg, they should have went with Heisenberg from, um, from <laughs> what's the show called? Breaking Bad. He would have been the perfect Lex Luthor, especially with the bald head. So I grabbed two of these um, posters in addition to that. If you guys have a local theater, make sure you grab that. So overall, I think I give the movie a 82%. It could have been better. Um, I think it should have been split into two movies, but regardless, DC did their best. Now let's cover some of the comics that I have. Some of my uh, most valuable Batman comics. This being, I think, the third printing. Even the third printing is worth like fifty bucks. The first printing is like a hundred. This is the all new Fifty Two volume. Is it three or two of Batman with Scott Snyder and awesome art by Greg Capullo. And these two are signed by Scott Snyder, Batman numbers 16 and 17 with the Joker. And of course, the world famous that came out in the 1990s, Death of Superman cover. Still bagged, I didn't open it. And you got some of these uh, Doomsday first appearances, which I got from the past. See, Justice League vs. Doomsday. Got the very first appearance or cameo of Doomsday. And then you have Doomsday right there. That's the battle right there. But there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy this um, movie review. Quick and short. It's a little bit nervous. Hopefully I do better next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And go check out the movie, alright? You won't regret it. Take care of yourselves.